लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम टू एस्ट्रोडी फाइव टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आर नेक्स्ट नक्षत्र विच इज पूर्वाषाढ़ नक्षत्र सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस दिल मूल नक्षत्र एंड वी हैव सी इन दैट हाउ ईच नक्षत्र परफॉर्म्स वॉट आर इट्स क्वालिटीज वॉट आर द क्वालिटीज ऑफ द नेटिव ऑफ दैट नक्षत्र एंड वी हैव सी इन वॉट आर इट्स रूलर एंड डिग्री वाइज द टोटल एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द ऑफ ऑल द नक्षत्र वी हैव सीन so today we are going to discuss about the next nakshatra of purvashar if any of you want to view this whole video in hindi can check out in the link shown below and the link is being shown in annotations so if your annotations mode is off please turn it on to view this whole video in hindi and if you don't know that what is a nakshatra how the total classification of zodiac sign nakshatra and pad a degree in uh, on the basis of degrees is being done in vedic astrology please check on my ashwini nakshatra video as uh, in that video i have told each and everything in detail before uh, before any one uh, of you uh, jumps into the detail of a particular nakshatra and if you don't know that uh, what are the basics of these things then you are, you will you will not be able to understand that thing uh, that thing properly so please uh, see those uh, see learn those things in my video uh, of ashwini nakshatra and uh, then further move on to the further nakshatras so today let's talk about our next nakshatra of purvashar what is its ruler we should first see that the ruler of this nakshatra is venus and it is spread from uh, 13 degree 20 minutes uh, 21 minutes to 26 degree 40 minutes sagittarius sign that means this nakshatra is totally uh, spreaded in uh, Sagittarius zodiac sign from 13 degree 21 minutes to 26 degree 40 minutes the symbol of this nakshatra is a hand held fan a hand held fan uh, this symbol symbolizes four uses actually a fan has four uses what are those uses the first use uh, a hand held fan can be used as a decorative item the then the next use Uh, that fan can be used to cool oneself down the to provide coolness and the third is that fan is also used uh, for uh, keeping up the fire in a fireplace so a handle fan is also used for keeping up a fire going and uh, the fourth use is that uh, that fan uh, is used to hide oneself that uh, through that fan you can hide your face if you put it on your face your your face will be behind it and it will be hidden so that uh, fan can be used as a uh, as a item or a thing to hide oneself down so astrologically and uh, esoterically what the, uh, all these four uses symbolize let's discuss that uh, this the the first use that is as a decorative item represents show and glamour the next use that uh, the fan can be used to provide coolness represents the ability to uh, ability in a person to get through hard times the third shows the the third that uh, of keeping a fire keeping up the fire shows that keeping up a thing going on the fourth uh, the fourth uh, thing that the fourth use is to hide oneself down this shows the <clears throat> the ability in a person to conceal facts information and feelings so th- uh, this is what the symbol of this nakshatra is and what it symbolizes uh, we have talked uh, we have talked about that so let's uh, discuss now what are the various characteristics and traits found in purvashar natives by natives i mean that the people who are having their moon placed in purvashar nakshatra in their horoscope no other planet we are talking about we are just talking about the moon placement in purvashar nakshatra so what are the qualities do that these natives have so let's start that the first is these people have a strong notion of invincibility they think that nobody can defeat them they have somewhat over confidence in them uh, so they think that uh, they are the only super power and uh, they cannot be defeated ever 
then the next thing uh, they ha these people have all the qualities what a sagittarius sign has because this nakshatra is totally spread in sagittarius zodiac sign so these people have all the sagittarius uh, qualities like uh, ambitiousness confidence they ha uh, their mind is more towards philosophy uh, they have they ha they are optimistic they have wanderlust and uh, these people have adventurous spirit very adventurous spirit and these are all qualities these are, are all the qualities that are uh, sagittarius zodiac sign represents the uh, drawback of this nakshatra is that uh, this uh, these people are undaunted by failures in some terms it is good but most of the time it is not good because these people don't learn from their past mistakes easily uh, as they are undaunted by failures the, and uh, so they it is it becomes very difficult for them to learn from their past mistakes these people have unrealistic hopes and ambitions they think uh, they, they they want to achieve a thing that is out of their reach and they don't think before doing anything that is the that is the most powerful drawback of this nakshatra they don't think before doing anything they uh, they don't have a proper calculative foresight to think what will happen what will be the consequences if i will do a particular thing best example is adolf hitler adolf hitler was of uh, purva shar nakshatra uh, but uh, every nakshatra can perform in good or bad terms so it totally depends on degrees if this nakshatra is bad then these qualities will be more emphasized the, and uh, in case of uh, adolf hitler it was it was not in good degrees then uh, these because uh, most of the time these people have unrealistic hopes so they think that uh, what i will do will be correct but uh, the thing reverses so they don't think about that reversal that is the main problem now this nakshatra people are sometimes insensitive and cruel but it happens only in the case when this nakshatra is not functioning well if it is good then it produces a person who will uh, become an inspiration for others and who will leave a path behind for others to follow the, if this nakshatra is good then the person will become an inspiration also and if this nakshatra is bad then the person like adolf hitler can be produced yes and uh, the these people also have a peculiar trait of uh, showing off they are natural show offs the if you want to find them in a crowd you just you can just easily identify them with their with this trait of naturally showing off they are very flamboyant in their dressing their speech their work and this nakshatra is uh, not very favorable for uh, formal education most of the times it is seen that if uh, person is born in this nakshatra or uh, that is his moon is placed in this nakshatra or his fifth lord is placed in this nakshatra then it becomes very uh, very difficult for a person to move ahead in formal education his formal education will be hindered somewhere but most of the times the person uh, reaches to the top of, uh, to the top of the world uh, most of the times it is seen but on the basis of his talents and his skills and wisdom these people have a lot of wisdom they have a lot of talent and his skills in born talents and his skills and wisdom but the their formal education is hindered so these people rise from a very bottom level in their life to enjoy a good life they have to rise from a level of depravity to enjoy a good life and they achieve that level through their efforts through their wisdom through their talents and through their skills these people are filled with these things uh, so these are the things what uh, what uh, are the qualities inherent in uh, the purva shar nakshatra native and these people are uh, these people are not very uh, 
serious type people they are very jovial they are very joy loving and uh, they want to live each moment of their life to the fullest the, they are these kind of people so uh, uh, these are the traits what you will find in a purva shana nakshatra native now let's talk about what is a purva shana nakshatra purva shana nakshatra is a female nakshatra and uh, its gun is rajasik and its uh, element is air there are uh, four elements uh, in uh, vedic astrology that is air water fire and earth but in terms of uh, nakshatra there are five elements one more element is there that is ether ether element is also there and uh, this ether element is only included in nakshatra classification not uh, in uh, zodiac signs not in the categorization of zodiac signs or not in the categorization of planets so this ether element is uh, uh, actually represents a sky and uh, esoterically symbolizes emptiness so we'll talk about this element in further video uh, in the next nakshatra in the further nakshatras which come under this category which come under this element we in that video we'll talk about what is ether element so this nakshatra purva shana nakshatra comes under air element and its gun is rajasik now let's talk about its pad each nakshatra has four pad and on the basis of pad placement your d9 chart is being constructed how then how it is being constructed we should see that uh, if your any planet is placed in a particular nakshatra and that planet is particular uh, that planet is placed in a particular pad then based upon the pad placement the zodiac sign of that planet will be determined in which it will sit in d9 chart in your nomancha chart so if your any planet is placed in purva shana nakshatra and that nakshatra is in pad 1 is sitting in pad 1 then that planet which is in purva shana nakshatra will sit in leo zodiac sign in your d9 chart will occupy leo zodiac sign similarly if it is in pad 2 that th- this nakshatra is in pad 2 then that planet which is sitting in purva shana nakshatra will occupy virgo zodiac sign in your d9 or nomancha chart similarly if it is in pad 3 then that planet will occupy libra zodiac sign in nomancha chart and if it is in pad 4 then that planet will occupy scorpio zodiac sign in your d9 chart so we have discussed that what is purva shana nakshatra what are the various qualities of uh, the natives of purva shana nakshatra and what is a purva shana nakshatra how we can uh, judge the zodiac sign based upon the path placement of uh, various planets in this nakshatra we have seen that so if you are new to my channel please subscribe below by clicking the subscribe button and uh, if you have any queries please uh, mail me on my email id shown in the description if you want to know more please uh, go on my facebook page its link is also provided in the description so we'll meet in the next video of uttara shana nakshatra and we will see that what are the various qualities that uttara shana natives have so till then goodbye and thank you